Johnny Skater here. Briefly, just before we go into the actual video, I just want a bit of self-promotion there. I do have some merch now. I have the t-shirt, the Geordie Skater, Solution to Pollution is Dilution and Crest. So the t-shirt and a mug. So if you're interested, just drop me an email. I'll leave the email on the screen there, but I'll also leave a link in the description. So if you're interested, hope to hear from you. Geordie Skater! Hello, Jordy Skaper here, and once again, welcome to my adventures in aquascaping. Okay, part of my agreement with Seachem, with the brand ambassador program, is to go through some new products. I've kind of been sent some products to have a look at, and that's what today's video I'm going to talk about. So, I'll just delve straight into it, I'll show you the tools just briefly, and I am going to go into more detail about one of the particular products I've been asked to have a look at see what I think of it and share with you guys. So we'll get around with that. But first up, I'll show you the tools. There's two new tools in the Acrovito range. Acrovito, I don't know if you already know this, is only available in stores. This is to help with local dealers selling products and their products. So it's not widely available on Amazon and that sort of thing. So Acrovito, part of the CCAM range, is available by your local shop, your local CCAM dealer. So this one here, the raw forceps or Tweezers are, like to call them. There's already sets in the range, but these are actually very fine tip, needle tip, and tips are really, really fine for, really good for a carpet and plants, that sort of thing. I have used the Aquavito tools for quite a while now, and I've got to say, really, really impressed with them. Brilliant tools. There's been some silicon sealant released, and that comes in two colors, black and clear. So just a strong silicon sealant for I'll tell you what it is on the box, it's easy to do that. Does not crack or shrink, permanently flexible, resist pressure and stress, stress, stress. Watertight seal, high densile strength, and it's for fresh and salt water. So, little repairs, if you're into building your own tanks and things like that, silicon sealant. Okay, this is the main thing I'm here to talk about today and I'm gonna have a little try of it, see what it's like. <laughs> this is probably gonna be fun. It's, Another part of the Seacam Flourish range, and this is epoxy. Again, this comes in two colors, brown for the wood, gray for the black. So this is an epoxy adhesive for sticking your rocks, your stones, your wood together. So when you put your hardscape together, you know sometimes you think you've weighed the wood down or it's been soaked long enough. You fill the tank after it's scaped, it floats, nightmare, last thing you want, and it's just, it's rubbish, simple. So this is a good thing to actually make sure it's secure to some wood or whatever you choose to hold it down. You can stick that together, stop that from floating when you fill the tank. It's also good if you wanna be more creative with wood and rock and stone for fine details and stuff like that or unusual structures. You can obviously use the adhesive there to glue that together. It fully cures, this is a good thing as well, it fully cures submerged or emerged for within 24 hours. You've got around five minutes to work with it. Fully dry within 15 minutes, fully cured and sorted within 24 hours. So we'll go through that. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is how it comes in the packet. Got some directions on the back. When you actually open it, it comes in a tube. You've got a plastic tube. Hold on to that plastic tube, and I'll tell you why later. It's really handy, okay? So plastic tube, this is the actual epoxy itself. So it comes like a sausage, like a tube. And inside here, we've got some instructions. Okay, so you read the instructions on how, how to do it, how to work with it. So health and safety first, obviously gotta go through health and safety. Best to wear some gloves, and it's got to do this outside on a dry day, or highly ventilated area. I've got my windows wide open and hopefully that'll be okay. So health and safety guys, you all know that. Gloves on, magic. <laughs> windows open, good to go, okay. Like I say, I've got a couple of pieces here, a couple of pieces of wood, a bit of stone. And we'll go with a couple of bits of wood, yeah. Okay, so I've got everything I need here. I've got some wood. 
to stick together with a little bit of stone and the epoxy itself. Got a little credit card type thing. You can use a credit card, just plastic. I use that just for applying the adhesive so it's not all over your hands. Like I said before, wear your gloves. I mentioned the tube, keep that handy. And we'll get going. So we'll peel that back. I'm just gonna chop a bit off. I'll probably not need loads because I haven't got loads to stick down. Chop that. And what we do now, we need it. So it's a bit like bacon. So this is where this comes in handy. Just give it a good roll. What we're looking for, we'll do this quite quickly. We'll get it so all the colour is uniform. And I can feel it heating up now. So we'll get cracking. at roughly the five minute stage now it's still a bit warm but it will be like rock soon i've got one i made earlier <laughs> blue peter if you're in the uk or you ever watch blue peter that's that's what i keep saying so here's what i made earlier god's sake <laughs> um rock solid uh, i've done this about two hours ago i think three bits of different type of rock they have got so i've got lava stone serious stone i think it's serious stone the adhesive and some wood and it's solid. Oh, I'm not gonna to push too hard. But yeah, good. Happy with that. Right mess here. But when you take out the tube, I think it's good to keep that tube. I don't know how that's meant to be used for, but I think that's a tip with it. Use it in small amounts, because you don't want to load, make loads up, they'll just go to waste. So use what you need as you go, do it, and then you're not gonna waste any because it does heat up and cure quite quick, the five minute mark, so it's not long to play with. So small amounts at a time. I was never one for using adhesive, but I find I'm using them more and more now, the super glues and things like that, and it just makes life simple in that peace of mind, because I can't stand it if you've had floating wood. You don't have to zip tie it, you just glue everything in place and keep it neat. Um, so yeah, it's better than what I thought, because when I first got it, I thought, I'm not one for using epoxy, but I must admit, I know for a fact I will be using it now. I was actually going to do a hardscape on camera for my next setup. I'm not 100% certain on the tight scape I'm going to do. So that's why I just use a couple of little old pieces to glue together to show you how it works instead of doing a full on scape. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video and getting a little something from it, great. Please hit that thumbs up. Show some support, really does help us YouTubers. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And that leads us on to next video. Next video is definitely the giveaway. I was gonna do one, a giveaway for hitting the 1K mark, but there's been a bit drawback with receiving the prizes and stuff, delivery problems with the COVID thing and stuff like that. So I want to wait till I've actually got them and do the actual giveaway. You do have to be subscribed for the giveaway and you do have to be a UK resident, unfortunately. It is UK only this one, but I do promise next giveaway, I will make that an international one. Um, 
just for various reasons it has to be UK. The prices are great and I will definitely show you in the next video. It's one from provided from Horizon, can you provide by Horizon Aquatics who support my channel and Seachem they've provided some products for you as well so you'll see them next video but so you do have to be subscribed and you do have to be a UK resident. So for now guys, use TK, see you later, bye bye.